Well hello there, welcome to today's Woburn Safari Park vlog. We are a couple of days away from a national lockdown here in England, so we're going to go have a final look before it closes for the next four weeks. Come with us and see the animals. We're not even in yet and we've got free wildlife. I know, and I'm surrounded by these little, are they goats? I feel like they're goats, but oh, I'm so worried I'm going to hit one. And we're moving again. We are. We didn't hit any, <laughs> thankfully. They all kind of moved out of the way, just a little rev of the engine. So Open Safari Park, it does have kind of both. It's got a road safari and it's got a foot safari too. At the moment, the foot safari, uh, the safari, the foot safari is kind of closed a little bit because the social distancing in the areas are closed. However, the road safari is still open and it's great because me and Dan can keep social distance from everyone else because we're in our car. You'll see I've got my window open. You can have your window open in this bit, which is in, I think it's called like the Serengeti room at the moment. There's some uh, rhinos, ostrich, zebra, zebra. Um, but when we go into the tiger and the lion bit and the bears, obviously that's when your windows have to be closed, which is understandable. So I will be closing my window soon, but it's nice to get a bit of fresh air at the moment. So what we've done too is we've kind of skipped the main Serengeti bit. As soon as you come into the park, you can kind of split off to the left, go around the Serengeti and see the animals in there. But we're kind of bypassing that at the moment because I spotted some rhinos over to my right. So we've bypassed that and now we're going to go into the this giraffes a bit further ahead. Then we're going to go into like the meat-eating section, which is your lions, your bears, your tigers, your wolves. Um, and then we'll probably come back to do this a bit later because you can go around the road safari again. You kind of go to the visitor centre, drive around and do the road safari again. So at the moment we are just kind of bypassing Serengeti to do the main big animals and then we'll come back later on, hopefully. So before you go into the carnivore section you do go through like a double gate system. So we are just waiting now to go through the gates and then you kind of park up in there. You meant to use both lanes, but obviously all the other cars that were in here with the state aren't doing that. So they're kind of sharing the road for themselves. So we're now driving into the double gate system and then you park up here wait for this gate to then close behind us before the gate in front of us will open and that's obviously to stop any animals kind of getting through either side taking pictures of big cats put in the comment section down below what's your favorite big cat i used to be a big fan of the lions but i think i've kind of changed because of the patterns i think i now prefer the tigers but what are your thoughts what do you prefer put it in the comments down below so we're now in the enclosure which has american black bears and timber wolves because it's quite a large area and they do like to hide you can't always see them or find them however the best tip in order to find them is wherever the woven safari park jeep is generally they're going to be around that area also, wherever the car stops, especially on a day like this, it's not very busy. However, where the one or two or three cars stop, they're all looking at the black bears or the timber wolves, so that's where they're going to be. So we've just pulled over so that we could do a little talk to camera. However, as I just said, where people have pulled over in their cars, generally it's because there's a bear or a wolf nearby. Except in our case, because I'm talking to the GoPro. So every car that's gone past us is looking at us all confused, looking in the bush, like, where's the bear? Where's the wolf? There isn't one. We've just pulled over to talk. So let's carry on. So we finally found an American black bear there-ish. Wow, that was off. But that's <laughs> close off? enough, yeah. Is it up there? I don't know. No. But <laughs> he's munching his food, so it's clearly dinner time. What I find kind of funny is me and Dan, well, I was just saying before we came into this kind of enclosure at the soft top convertibles and that, and to keep your windows closed, I've never seen someone open the window before in this area, and obviously today, someone did, in the tiger enclosure, just next to the tigers, open the window to take a photo. So don't do that, because you look silly. So we got a little bit excited then, because I know recently they've had two cubs here, and we could just see one playing with a female. Dan's trying to find the right angle. <laughs> no, it's if you go past the tree and then stop. Really and slow. Cool. There you go, you can carry on talking to camera now. 
perfect. So generally, me and Dan joke that this is kind of pride rock like in the, in the Lion King. Obviously it's not a rock, it's a hill and it's got grass on it. Um, but they're always up there, always like playing around or sleeping or eating up there on that hill. And see that little cub playing, it's quite exciting as well because I haven't seen a tiger cub. I think in my life, so that's the first time I'm, I'm going to see a tiger cub. This is always where the traffic jam starts as well. We're not in a traffic jam now, but down there you can see all the cars kind of parked up looking. Because everyone wants to get that favourite shot. And me and Dan are just so different. We pulled over because we want a shot off that hill and it's quite a cool shot, isn't it? Cool, yeah, I've got it. Let's carry on. stuck because there's one, two, three giraffes in the road. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven by the side of the road and one way off in the distance. Oh, there's another one there too. Oh, he's kind of at window height because he's down a bit. But yeah, we're kind of stuck at the moment waiting for these giraffes. that dirty that a monkey is eating food from it. It's not good, is it? So today we only stuck to the road safari. We didn't do the foot safari. However, we did visit before the pandemic, so pre-pandemic. Um, so we'll put some footage in now of what the foot safari is like. And it is great. It's a great place, especially for families. It's like little walkabout areas with the lemurs. Um, so yeah, I do recommend the foot safari, but we'll put some footage in now of the foot safari anyway. <music>
So that brings us to the end of our Woburn's Fire Park vlog. I really enjoy Woburn's Fire Park. I think it's great. I think the enclosures and the exhibits are amazing. And I especially like the foot safari, even though we didn't do it today. I'm really chuffed that we managed to see a black bear because we didn't see any earlier today. And I have to say, I think the lion enclosure is one of the best in the UK, if not well, one of the best that I've ever been into anyway. And I can't wait to come back and visit again. We do hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you did vlog, vlog, we hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you did, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button just down below. And we'll see you later.